hi out there all you knitters it is barbara benson i am here at a good yarn sarasota and um it's wednesday so it's time for what's hot in the shop live from the knitting table uh we are closed from noon to one on wednesdays so that we can do this and so there's really no one else in the store except for my fellow employees and they're pretty far away from me so i'm gonna go ahead and take my mask off because we are practicing safe shopping and social distancing here in the store we are open from 11 to 3 monday through saturday except we're closed for this hour slot from noon to one on wednesdays um, and right now we are allowing four people in the store at any given time. Most of the time it works out fairly well, but if you do get here during our open hours and the door is locked, just kind of, you know, peek in at us and we will be watching. And when that happens, we try to encourage the people who are in the store, if they're maybe just, uh, knitting around and we try to keep people going through so we can keep it going. Let's see. Hello to Janet and everyone who has come to watch. Um, we are not having any in store knitting right now there's no real safe way to do it just wanted to let you know we'd love to have you come in and shop but you need to come in shop and then you know go home to do your knitting or if it's a beautiful day like today you are more than welcome to bring yourself a chair and sit outside underneath we have an overhang and we have wonderful knitters they sit out there socially distance in the beautiful air and knit and chat but we can't have that inside um hello judy happy wednesday um okay so four people in the store no in-store knitting we do have our thursday virtual knit nights via zoom um and those are from 6 to 7 30. they're free obviously if you want that what you need to do is go to a good yarn sarasota.com and go in and sign up for it it doesn't cost anything but that way you'll get an email that has a link to the zoom uh meetup -y thing <laughs> so that you can come and sit and knit and chat with everybody on zoom yeah they are there are a couple ladies out there um hi cindy happy 2021 woo, woo. actually it's so funny i'm sure y'all have seen the thing going around um now if you get carded attempting to buy alcohol all you have to do you flash their I your id and if there's a one at the beginning of your birthday they don't have to look at any of the other numbers because if you were born i mean 2021 people are 21 years old now so <laughs> If you were born prior to 2000, they're not even going to bother looking at what your birth date is, which I think is hysterical. Um, and it makes me feel old. <laughs> but whatever. Um, okay, so yes, knitting. Uh, speaking of online kind of stuff, we are continuing to have online knitting classes via Zoom. And... Um, I didn't write them down. I'm just gonna pull them up on the A Good Yarn website on my phone. And you can go to, here, let me see. Let's see if I can show my iPhone to the iPad and see what happens. Could go well, could, they could like start taking over the world. So, yeah, I thought we might have a glare situation. There you go, you got the website. And then what you do is you go on the website and click the button that says classes. And then uh, there is not a good angle to do this at. So there we go, classes. And then you can scroll down, schedule in our virtual classroom and you click classes again and you will see the classes that we have. I know that's out of focus. The iPad and the iPhone apparently don't like cooperating. So I will let you know. We have our Introduction to Knit Companion Wednesdays on January 13th, 20th, and 27th 
and February 3rd from 6 to 7.30 p.m. So um, it is a great course to learn how to use Knit Companion. Hello from West End. Hi, Carol. Um, so what Knit Companion is, is it is an app that you can get for your digital device where you can upload a, your knitting pattern in PDF form and set it up to use all of the incredibly powerful tools that Knit Companion has. It can count your rows, you can highlight things, you can, it, it's, it's just, that's why there's a class. There's so much power in the program for having traveling markers and all kinds of stuff and color coding and everything. So there's a class to set it up. Um, so if you're interested in, and if you tend to knit from your device, this is a something you might want to check out. Then we have my Tuesday night classes and we have a slight adjustment. Uh, if you have already registered for a class for this month, you'll be getting a notification. We are gonna be changing the start time from four o'clock to five o'clock. The classes were four to five o'clock and we're gonna switch them to five to six o'clock for reasons about my schedule because um, that's going to work a little better and I will also tell you while I'll get all the information in in the hour we rarely actually end at six o'clock <laughs> at, 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 right at the hour there's usually a little bit eh, 15 minutes wiggle room because I like to talk I bet none of you could guess that I like to talk but so Tuesday nights from five to six I have these hour-long classes that are super fun and they're bite-sized classes. They're classes that aren't gonna take a huge amount of brain power, just focusing in and covering one subject. Last night we had the Yarn 101, which was about understanding how to read a pattern and figure out what yarn you need for the pattern, and then how to make sure you have all the information you need to make a successful choices about what yarn you're going to use in your projects. Um, so that I think went really well. All of my students were super fun and, uh, thank you all if you're watching now for being in the class. So this coming week, we are going to have casting on 101, which is, we're going to go over some of the more standard cast ons. So you know how the, how you're supposed to be doing it. I mean, if you're successful, whatever, and then get into some more exotic ones. It'll be fun. So that is on January 12th at five o'clock. Then on January 19th at five o'clock, we will then do binding off. So we're gonna cast on and then we're gonna learn bind offs. Great thing about these two classes, neither of them, well, the cast on class doesn't really have any homework because we're casting on the bind off, pro you know, we gotta do a little swatch or two so that we have something to bind off. <laughs> but they're just gonna be little tiny swatches. And then at the end of the month on January 26th, Tuesday night, five to six, we're going to be doing increases 101. And we're going to go over different increases, how to do them and their functionality in patterns. Who else have we got here? Hi, Elizabeth. Um, and then at the end of the month on Saturday, January 30th, we will be having my blocking class. And that is from 10 a.m. to 1230. Um, uh, I mentioned this in my class last night because the yarn label, the yarn 101 class dovetails very nicely into the blocking class. Yes, the class is about blocking. Yes, you will learn how and the theory behind blocking. You'll learn why to block, how to block, but a big chunk of the class is to understand blocking, you have to understand yarn and fibers. So a big part of the class is talking about different kinds of fibers, how they perform in blocking, and as a result, how they perform in your patterns. So if you've ever wondered about what does alpaca do? What does silk do? What does tencel do when you're knitting with it? This is a class that you might want to consider taking. Uh, it, I love teaching this class. It's different every time I teach it because there are different students who have to ask different questions, but it is a super fun class that I enjoy. So those are the classes. My phone is going bye-bye. Hi, Mercina. That's a fun name. Hi in Michigan. So classes. And... Okay, we also have 
mystery knit along coming up so we are doing a mystery knit along with the amazing designer tina say and she designed a shawl exclusively for a good yarn sarasota working with the dyer from mitchell's creation to create the yarn for it and for this knit along for the it's a four week long knit along and for that time, this pattern is exclusive to a good yarn. So if you wanna be the first people to make this beautiful shawl pattern and watch it as it evolves, then you need to get in on this knit along. Um, yes, Barbara, the classes are online. They are Zoom based classes. So you need to go to a good yarn Sarasota and go to the classes on the website and you can reserve the classes. They are online. Um, there's no real safe way to do classes in the store right now. So, um, and you know, it makes it so that you don't even have to be in Sarasota to take a class. I think that's fantastic. It really, it's fun. It's a, it's a silver lining kind of situation. Okay, back to the mystery knit along. So this is the electric feel mystery knit along. You will be making a shawl. It takes, three skeins of fingering weight yarn and we have four kits for you to choose from. Um, you can see all four kits online. I went over them last week so if you want to see it in detail go to last week's live thingamajigger and but we have this gorgeous kit. Um, we got kit one. This Well I don't know what the numbers are. And we've got this beautiful one, and this is the electric. Isn't that amazing? And then this one, the neon pink in it is fantastic. And there's a fourth one. The picture's online. It hasn't come in the store yet. But if you order the, the one, that one, I believe it's number four, we will definitely have it to you in time for the cast on on 118. Now, that's the cast on. And what the cast on date means is that is the date that you will wake up in the morning and there will be an email for you with a PDF from Susan with the first clue for the pattern for you to start knitting. Also included in that will be the email address for the designer if you have any questions for the designer. If you need assistance, she is there to assist you. And during the four weeks, there will also be Zoom meetups for the knit along with our awesome Lori and she will be available to help if you run into any issues with the execution of the pattern. Uh, the announcement on when those zooms will be will come with your first clue. So dun, 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 dun. to sign up for the knit along it is $12 and that includes the pattern and help need to get the yarn separately. So two things going on there. Um, you ordered yours, fantastic. That That is very exciting. Um, it's gonna be gorgeous and I cannot wait to see what this shawl looks like and as they grow. That is definitely something you might wanna join. Make sure you've joined the uh, A Good Yarn Facebook group. You're here on the Facebook page, but we also have a Facebook group that you have to request to join. And once you're in it, we can share pictures and post to it. And I can't wait to see people posting what yarn, their yarns when they get them and the progress they're making on the shawl. Um, I'm, we might have rules about when you can post because we don't want to spoil anybody, but it's a great place to talk about what's going on. Okay, hey Rob and Carol and Karen. We got, oh, hey Karen, you're in Aberdeen, Scotland. Holy cow, that is amazing. So, and that's, that's, that's what I was saying about these classes, doing them via Zoom, we are able to, to reach out and it's just so exciting to meet these fiber and yarn and knitting and crochet lovers from all around the world because we have all that in common. So that is super cool. Okay, I have one thing here that is not yarn. As I promised in the little announcement of this when I posted it, today we're talking about yarn, yarn, and some yarn, and then we're gonna talk about some yarn. <laughs> it's all yarn today, except for we got another addition to the amazing Knitter's Pride Mindfulness Collection. 
over the last few episodes, I've definitely shown you all the knitting needle sets and notion sets, and I just love this this uh, collection because they're beautiful. And so this, anyone want to guess what's in it? Let's open it up. We're gonna open it up and pull out as with all the other ones. It's beautifully presented, and we're gonna unwrap this little guy. And just like the other ones, it's this cute little case with the beautiful zipper pull. And inside is a pair of scissors. How fun is that? Oh, and they're shiny. Look at that. They're like opalescent. And so these are these awesome safety scissors that you can have, but they're not going to poke any holes in your knitting bag. And they're safe and they're short and you can take them on an airplane when we get to go on airplane soon. <laughs> And close it back down, put it back in your zipper thing. Actually, that looks like eyeballs. <laughs> and zipper back up and you have it in the little awesome taco thing. So beautiful addition to the mindfulness set. Um, these are $8. So you can get one for each knitting bag. <laughs> I just, I love this color. It goes with our colors well. The Mindfulness Collection, the whole thing has a whole long story that you might want to check earlier episodes about. I've just decided to start calling these things that we're doing episodes. I can't think of a better word. It seems kind of silly. <laughs> oh, this is the one with the scissors. Okay. Now, oh my gosh, I have so much amazing stuff to show you. We have a brand new yarn in the store. It is both new for us in the store, but also new for one of our favorite yarn companies. Um, it is, <laughs> Karen said, oh, I, that is fantastic. <laughs> um, so this is, yes, all of our episodes are on our YouTube channel if you missed a Wednesday. We've been doing this since like June or July, so there's a bunch. I don't know if you can watch that much of me, but. But if you do like watching me, I have a YouTube channel called Watch Barbara Knit. They're actually considerably shorter than these. They all tend to be around 15 to 20 minutes long. But if you like watching me, you might want to check my uh, YouTube channel out. Um, so, Quince and Company. Quince and Company is absolutely amazing. They do beautiful yarn. They have a very distinct aesthetic. And we have this book which is called This and That. Now this book, we do not have the book in the store, but it is available as an ebook through their website and on Ravelry. Um, it's not, these are not available as individual patterns, but we have it because this new yarn is in it and it's absolutely beautiful. It is called Owl Et. They had, have a yarn called Owl, which I think is DK weight. And this is Owlet, which they label as a fingering weight, but I'm also feeling like it could, well, no, they label it as a lace weight, but I'm feeling like you could also use it in fingering weight patterns. Oh yeah, Quince is so amazing, Priscilla. And Priscilla, this, this stuff could be beautiful in color work. It's got alpaca in it, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna fill in nicely when you block it. The, I know I haven't shown it to you yet, Again, it's O-W-L-E-T, Owl Et, maybe Owl, and it is 50% American wool and 50% alpaca. They say it is lace weight. It is 240 yards in 50 grams. So if I take that up to 100 grams, it's going to be like 480 yards. Yeah, 400, almost 500 yards in 100 grams. So we definitely are in like the heavy lace, very light fingering category seven stitches to the inch on size one, six and a half stitches to the inch on size three. Um, it is gorgeous. So here is the lightest color. It is a single ply yarn. And because it has those two different yarns in it, it's got this wonderful heathery look. And I believe that if this is like other um, other Quince and Company yarns, the differences in these colors are really the difference in the color of the, the, the actual wools. Um, there's not a lot of dye going on. It's just the different wools. And like, so this one came from light colored sheep and alpacas. 
darker ones came from dark colored sheeps and alpacas. Sheeps, chips, chips, but oh, so beautiful. So this is elf. And then we have this kind of, and this is a probably as close to white as they're gonna get. It's definitely a silvery gray. This is tawny. And this is, it's called an elf owl. So this is a tawny owl. And this is this beautiful, almost sand color. It's definitely, I don't want to say beige because beige just implies a boringness that is not present in this yarn. It is this beautiful brown toned neutral color. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have Albertine, which is this very pretty silver. But again, because of the two different fibers that are combined, it's got a heathered effect. And then we have P-A-P-U-A-N, Pawn. I don't know that one. I want to say hello to the person who just came on, but I'm pretty sure I would not pronounce it correctly. But welcome. <laughs> and this, look at this dark. It's almost a charcoal, but it has hints of a brown undertone to it. Absolutely beautiful. And this just go and you can see how I can actually fold the skein. This skein is not it is a floppy skein, which means that the yarn is going to have beautiful beautiful drape when you knit it up. It's going to have interesting movement because it's a single, which means it's twisted only in one direction. It's definitely going to have motion and you and they're just so this is our palette all beautiful neutrals and I want to show you this look at this dress the reason why we have this book to show you that there we go look at that isn't it beautiful the idea of knitting a dress and as I said it's gonna drape just absolutely absolutely stunningly look at that Whoop. it's just gorgeous love it is a beautiful beautiful piece what else in here is in so this book has six pullovers two cardigans a dress and a hat in it here's another shot of this dress this dress is what we fell in love with it's just sweet and i can see wearing it um this one is the sweater this is an owl owl is the heavier weight um we have wool folk which is the same weight as this that we think would work beautifully in this pattern. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous pattern. Um, another owl one. Let's see. This, this is in Owlette in the 20. It is a beautiful top. Just the, the lightness of this yarn is going to be gorgeous. Here, there's the top. If you're not quite up to knitting a whole dress, we can do the top. And then here's another one in Owl. How pretty is that? So it's a great book. Owlette is our new beautiful yarn that we have in. Um, oh yeah, woodwork is a peasant top. That would be super cute, Laura. So there. That is the new Quince and Company yarn that we have in the store. Is it on the website, Susan? No, not yet. Okay, it's not on the website yet. Going to have to come in and pet it. Or call. Or call, yes. If you're in love with it, if you fell in love with it through the screen, give us a holler. Um, it is just gorgeous. Okay. You know we love... Love note. It is. I flipped it so y'all can read it, but now I can't tell which side I need to lean to. Look, this is love note. It is a beautiful, beautiful top. It has this gorgeous lace detail, and it is knit with fingering weight yarn held double with lace weight mohair. This is the pattern, and the design. It's a tin can knits pattern. And our amazing Catherine of Kitty Bee Knitting has been dyeing, and we know that she designs beautifully, but she has been doing some amazing dyeing, and we have some new in stock that she just got done. 
um, and I want we wanted to show it to you so I mentioned we're doing the holiday cocktails and we have the mold wine and by request she dyed it on our sugar loaf which is our mohair the kitty bee mohair and so you could make a love note with this gorgeous gorgeous combo in mold mold wine so this is the mold wine and this one is called wine time so that's fantastic so this is the sanibel base which is 70 percent superwash merino and 30 percent silk this is 438 yards and then this is 72 percent kid mohair 28 percent silk and 459 yards so this would look gorgeous together in love note and so we're kind of um obsessed with the mohair right now so Catherine also started dyeing several different bases in our color in the beachcomber collection and it's the color called best beach ever which as we all know is siesta beach it is our beach and so it is a beautiful color and we have it on this is a siesta I think this this yarn base is siesta which is 80% merino 10% cashmere 10% nylon 380 yards best beach ever best beach ever is this beautiful creamy color with hints of like a goldy peach and then these grays because that is the color of our beautiful beach then we also have it on this is a sunset yarn which is 80 percent super fine alpaca and 20 percent silk at 287 yards this look at the drape on that absolutely gorgeous and you can see the peaky pinky peaches peeking through peaky peaky <laughs> it's rosemary it is you're not siesta is just so beautiful then we have uh, apollo yarn which is 75 percent extra fine merino 20 percent nylon and five percent lurex which 440 yards and this is the shiny yarn so pretty it sparkles oh it sparkles amazingly and then this is quite possibly my favorite kitty bee base i mean they're all beautiful but i'm allowed to have favorites right this is largo i love largo this is 50 percent alpaca 25 percent silk and 25 percent linen it is such a unique combination it's 438 yards it's definitely a fingering weight it just has a gorgeous drape and the linen brings something really special to it that you don't see very much in yarns the alpaca brings softness the silk brings drape and shine it's just a beautiful yarn and of course the thing that started it all the sugarloaf yarn the mohair so here we have largo with the mohair with the sugar loaf they gorgeous oh your granddaughter would love them no oh, that's fantastic so here we go and we have i wanted to show you another one so this is perseverance this is a shawl of mine that i designed it is a side to side it starts up here and you start building it and adding the lace along the bottom and then once you've established that you start adding the lace about the along the top and then the stockinette center grows until you have and it ends in a wee bit of lace and so this is actually designed to use one skein of largo and one skein of mohair lace so you could knit this in this and i think it would be absolutely beautiful um so that one this is perse p-e-r you know what i spell it wrong every time it's p-e-r-s-e-v-e-r-a-n-c-e -E -E. it's actually named after the mars rover that is fixing to go up 
So it is a so it is a triangle-ish. So it's definitely got three sides, which puts it into the triangle category, but it is the top edge is curved. It is a triangle knit on the bias. And what that means is on the leading edge, you're increasing on the on the right side rows, you increase on the leading edge and decrease on the other edge. And then the increase that provides the growth in the shawl is on the wrong side. So it's asymmetrical. It is an asymmetrical piece. And so you have, you eventually end up with the point and then your bind off is on this end. So it's got a gentle curve and it's knit on the bias, which gives it drape. Let me, hello, hello. Let me see if I can step back and get a better, you can get a better idea of the shape. So this is the fat end and then it goes and goes and you get a skinny end. So I'll put that back up here. It is an easy shape to wear and it drapes beautifully because it's got the alpaca, it's got the silk, it's got the mohair, and it's fuzzy and it's just great. Okay, oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed knitting it, Joanna. It is a fun shawl. It isn't uh, easy, sh I mean, it's not on the, this is a super simple shawl. It has a little bit of thought that's involved, but it's not particularly hard either. None of the lace in it is particularly challenging. And then we have, God, we just have so much yarn, it's so exciting. We also have in the Beachcomber collection, this color is so popular. This is sea glass and it's just beautiful. And I wanted to show you, this is again, the Sanibel. So this is the Merino silk single and here it is on the mohair. So you could definitely do a love note out of this. How gorgeous would that be? or you can do a perseverance out of it. It's just beautiful, beautiful. We also, I wanted to show you, we have sea glass on this, which is Crescent, which is a 20, 75 extra fine merino, 25% silk, 245 yards. So this is more in the DK range, but it is gorgeous. So sea glass, best beach ever. These are all a good yarn, yarns, and for down here. And then, then the final one we have is, this was one of our Pearl Diver yarns. This is School of Fish. And what we have here is actually two skeins of yarn that are twisted together because they come as a set. And so we've got Gasparilla, which is the fingering weight, which is 75% extra fine Cyprus Merino and 25% silk, 440 yards. And then the mohair, the sugar loaf, that is the mohair silk blend. And so that is, and I have a sample of this shawl, which was the one that came in the kit. Um, Try to see which side is the right side. This is the right side, so you can see the yarns individually. So you've got the gray and white fingering with the beautiful silvery blue, almost lavendery, um, no, it's definitely blue, mohair. And this pattern is called Tonquin. There we go. But you could definitely use these two together for either love note or perseverance and it would look really interesting with the variegated so okay so so woohoo mohair it's mohair time we love mohair and the best beach ever okay um oh i need to mention we are having a suburban stitcher trunk show we have been loving and getting in Suburban Stitcher's new yarns, and they're gorgeous. And Susan has arranged with Diane, to the dyer, to do a trunk show. And what she's going to be doing, and this is sort of a, you're half finished on Tonquin. How cool, Deborah! I get distracted by y'all's comments. <laughs> so, you've got the trunk show. And what she's going to do is she will be sending us the trunk show. It's going to be around 200 skeins of yarn and samples 
There's even gonna be kits for some of the samples and that will come in. And then what we're going to do is on our Thursday night, knit night, there'll be a preview of the trunk show and Diane will be participating in it. It is, you know what? I didn't write down the date on this. Susan, what's the date on that? The 14th. I have that it's from 10, 6 to 7.30, but I did not write down. So it's 6 to 7.30, AKA knit night. And on the 14th, the dyer, Diane will be there and we will be showing off all the amazing stuff she sent us. Now, during knit night, during this preview, you will be able to purchase the yarn. So what we'll do is you just say in the chat or contact Susan and say, I want this yarn and you buy it that night and we'll set it aside. Then the next day on Friday is when the trunk show goes live in the store. You can come into the store, look at the samples, browse the yarn, get the awesome stuff. And there will be, the idea of doing these kind of trunk shows is we have several different bases of her beautiful yarn and what she's gonna be sending us is selections of yarn that we don't currently carry that base. So it's going to be a sock base, a DK base, and a mohair base, mohair, and 12 to 15 colors of each and it will be a bunch of her new colors and also kits for some of the samples. We don't know what kits are coming in. That's gonna be a surprise. But if you see something on Thursday night that you just have to have, it's better to get it then because then it's gonna go into the store and anybody can buy it. Um, yes, it's our first in-person trunk show since Miss Babs. So, but we are still going to be maintaining the only four people in the store at a time and cycling people through. So that's why we're doing this preview. So for those of you who can't come in and to, to get it, you know, get it started and have a little fun virtually before it actually kicks off. So mark your calendar for the 14th for knit night. And then the 15th is when the trunk show starts and it'll be the 15th and um, we'll do that and you can come in. Okay, draw a line through that. Hey, Diane and LK, welcome. Okay. Um, boop, 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 boop. Okay, the next thing we want to talk about, speaking of our amazing Catherine, as I mentioned, she is also a designer and we had someone come in the store and remind us, because they were shopping for yarn, reminded us how much we love a particular pattern, how much people who have knitted it love it. And if you wanna get ready and get jump started and get your spring wardrobe, knit wardrobe started, you might want to consider the Stickney Tea. It is a great lightweight tea designed to work with non-wool yarns. So you can wear it. Um, it is a DK weight top that um, the needle size is five and six. So it's gonna work up fairly quickly and it is just a fantastic piece with great details on it. So, nope, this way. This is one of the samples we have. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the samples and show you all the different yarns. We have it worked up in three different things and it's just amazing in every one. Everyone brings a different, each yarn brings a different element to this tee, but it is so super cute. It's got this amazing slip stitch detail on a reverse stockinette body and a beautiful neck and little short sleeves. I just, it's just so cute. Just like all the cat stuff. So this piece is done in Rowan Denim Revive. And let me tell you, I love Denim Revive. Um, and what I love the most about it is it's made out of denim, okay? And so when you look at the ball, it actually says 95% cotton and 5% other fibers because it's made out of recycled jeans. So I like to think that that extra 5% is like pocket knit. <laughs> it's just, you know, might be a squished up dollar bill in there or something. I don't know. But really it's what it is, is, you know, the, um, the jeans were sewn together. So the, the, um, whatever was used to stitch it together 
that's the other because it is a recycled product which is absolutely amazing and it comes in it says made with recycled denim and recycled cottons so it's really cool so this is the blue wash color it is a beautiful light blue I'm pretty sure this is yep this is the one that the samples made out of this is called Air Force and you can see that it definitely has a slightly rustic feel to it it really is a casual yarn it's got flecks of different colors in it um, again it's that recycled nature of the yarn we've got here's another blueish into the green this is called grage g-r-i-e-g-e -E. it's kind of a greeny it's just beautiful then this green i love this one this is jade look at that that is a stunning color we've got a green which is pistachio it's pistachio but i like saying pistachio so that is another beautiful green this is sand i think this is a fantastic neutral that would work with so many different outfits we've got darkness if you need a charcoal gray sweater to go with absolutely top it's not really a sweater to go with absolutely everything or if you want to go lighter gray we've got silt pretty and then these two reds i adore this is coral and lipstick this one's coral this one's lipstick both of those would look great in this tee um so again it's i just can't remember the stickney tee uh, which is named after, you know, Stickney here in Sarasota. Now, the, we also have the original that the picture is of and that it was designed in. This is quinoa and you can see it has amazing texture to it. Look at that. And you can really see and you can see how it has a different look to it but both are great so super super cute more drapey because the quinoa is let's look at our content is 91 percent cotton and nine percent nylon but it has this great texture and little twisty twisty things i don't know what the real words are um this is uh, you know what I don't think it has a color name on it so this is this kind of mustardy color <laughs> and this is yeah it doesn't have a color name on it they just name them like this is 1042 this is a beautiful rose pinky color okay and then we've got this I really like this this is a gray color and it's got the light gray with the dark gray I think this would be beautiful and then we've got a dark on dark gray. So all four of these colors, we have enough to make a sweater in. Shirt, why do I keep calling it sweater? And then our third sample of denim of uh, the Stickney Tea is in the Haiku Drape. Let me show you this one. This one is just amazing this one look how much it collapses down this is a beautiful swingy drapey lightweight comfy thing you're going to want to this one you're going to probably want to wear a cami under i'm going to show you it's very lightweight but again it's just this pattern loves all different kinds of yarn and drape is from haiku and it is a 100% rayon yarn, 280 meters in 100 grams from Scassell. This is the mauve, which is what the sample is in. We also have it in sand, beautiful kind of sand color. And we have it in navy. We have it in this beautiful dark silver. This is oyster. 
if you need a white or cream top. This color I love. This is slate. It's a very, very pale silvery gray. We've got mist. Gorgeous. Look at this. This is like ocean. It's screaming ocean. And then if you like that, but you wish it was a little darker, we've got the 2020 color of the year. It's amazing. And then this beautiful wheat. Look how gold, that yellowy gold it is. So this is rayon if you want to stick. And it's just gorgeous. And very floopy, very drapey. And this is the stick me tea in that. So we love the stick me tea. It is one of those teas that we have obviously made three different samples out of it. Once you make one in one color and one yarn, you're going to want more of it because it is beautiful. Oh, and the thing started it all. So the, the lovely knitter who came in yesterday, um, we went through all the fun options you can have and she actually ended up getting something completely different. And what we did is we matched the Trailhead Yarns Fundy Tides, which is a lighter weight yarn that is 55% cotton and 85% linen with the Cabo Trail, which is 100% uh, Tencel. And her plan is to hold these two together when knitting stick knee tee. And you only need, for that size, she was making two skeins of each to make the tee. And it's just look at. So we have several different colors of the Fundy Tides and several different colors of the Tencel. And we can match up and make you a set. And it's going to be so, so gorgeous. So it's just such a flexible pattern. And we love it. Especially, especially for those people who are always saying, you live in the South, what in the world could you possibly knit? It's too hot there to knit. There's so many amazing, amazing. Oh, thank you, Rob. I will check that out. Very cool. That is good to know. I'm going to write a note. Knit Picks book page. Very exciting. Which book do you know? myself a note that is really cool thank you for letting me know so but again if anyone's like what do you knit in the south this is what you knit in the south this is the knitwear that you wear in the south and it's beautiful so that is the stick me tea and then the last thing that I have to talk to you about we're gonna talk about and then we're gonna go on a little walkabout um, so this is from the designer Lisa K. Ross, and it is a piece that she did in conjunction with Miss Babs, and it is called Garden Variety. And we printed it out to show you. It is a rectangular shawl that starts in the middle and has a, or I think, I don't know, it has a very, very interesting construction, and it has a lot of different fun lace, and it looks like mosaic color work patterns. And it calls for, what you need for it is um, 800 yards of fingering weight yarn and then seven colors at um, around 130 yards each. So mini skeins, yay, it's mini skein time. We love mini skeins. Um, and, oh, it was a knit along. There we go, Fran. So this was a knit along, but it's now released as a single pattern. And we wanted to show you, I went through and we're gonna show you the, the um, I pulled a whole box of base colors that we could use. And then we're gonna go over and we're gonna look at the mini skeins. So these is actually Sontina which is one of Babs fingering weight yarns. It's 75% superwash, 25% nylon, says 390 yards. I'm sh we're sure that will be fine. And it comes in gorgeous colors. This is rainforest. And if you think about these, you need a base color and you need two skeins of it. So we might start with one of these. We've got rainforest, we've got province, which is a beautiful lilac. 
We've got slate. Gray is a fantastic neutral that we could play different colors off against. Sunny. Um, this is white peppercorn. Amazing, amazing neutral. This is parchment. Another amazing brown neutral. We've got faded. We've got bisque. Oh, look at that color. That would be fun. We've got, this is dusk. So it's like a purpley blue. This is Fleur de Sel, another gray. This is um, a wild iris. So this one, partly cloudy. Ooh, look at that. And look at this green. I could not resist it. This is herbalist. And we've got more. I didn't pull everything off the shelf. So we've got all these gorgeous base solids that we can work from. And then what you're gonna need to do is we're gonna then take these base solids over to the minis and pick out seven different minis that we want to play with and have fun with. So yeah, we have over 400 skeins of the toes. So we can either get on the iPad and put it together or you can come in and pick them out, but we are gonna go on walkabout now. Let's go. Okay. Oh, ah, I'm going to drop stuff. We're going to push the turnaround button. Oh, there we go. There they are. Those are the mini toes. So I'm going to put, I'm going to make you all nauseous. Okay. I put my giant box down, right? And you know what? Everything's going to be backwards now, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So I need to push this button and flip it down. There we go. Ha ha. I figured it out. So these are the mini toes. And I believe it was Miss Susan F. who arranged these beautifully in a colory type order. But look, look at all the different colors we have to choose from. So what we're gonna do is you pick out one of the bases. Let's go with, ah, I love this. And this I think would be an unusual. So look and what we're gonna do is hope, see, I think it would look amazing with this. Oh, look at that. Look at those two together. That dark greeny color, but it also looks great with that. It really looks good with these purples and blues. Hmm. Ah, uh, that could be cool. Green, I mean, you just, you take your yarn and you just compare it to the other colors. I don't know, that could be cool. I don't know about the darker green, but just look. Look at all, look at those bright greens. See, that would look amazing. The purples kind of come around the corner and then we have a whole nother side. Look at this. Purples, just all the purples. I want all the purples. You could just pick out different shades of purple. It could be really cool to pick one of the bright colors as the base and do a bunch of grays as the secondary colors, the mini skeins. It's just there's so, so many different things that you could do with this pattern and we can have a lot of fun with minis. So, here I am again. So, that is, I'm gonna sit back down Okay, that is garden variety. We're backwards again. <laughs> Boop. That is garden variety by Lisa K. Ross. So, where is my piece of paper? Duh. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I have finished my notes. So thank y'all so much for joining us again from 12 to one here on Wednesdays for what's hot in the shop. It is so much fun chatting with y'all um, and talking about this amazing yarn. I mean, I get to come in and play with yarn all, you know, on Wednesdays. So that makes it a great day. Any day you play with yarn is a great day. Um, hopefully we will see you next week. Or maybe I might see some of y'all on Tuesday night in my class. That would be fantastic. 
and I look forward to just having more fun with y'all and thank you for watching so very much. Y'all have a lovely rest of the week. Bye-bye.